Hi guys, this is Ox here on behalf of Mr. Tech Reviewers here on the Southside headquarters today showing you 8 tips and tricks to speed up your slow PC. So before we get started, I'm going to show you the Facebook Mr. Tech Reviewers page. I know I've, I've already shown it to you. Um, here we have 51 fans so far. Not very many, but we're increasing. Um, we have all our videos posted, some links posted. Um, our most recent one being the generic iPod extra chargeable battery pack. Here we have our YouTube Mr. Tech Reviewers channel with the most recent video right here. And in our four, first four months of operation, we've already had 3,568 channel views, 2,023,574 total upload views. 68 subscribers, 43 friends, and many channel comments and comments on our videos. So we've been very happy with the turnout that we've had in four months. So to get started on the eight tips and tricks to slow to speed up your PC, we have CNET.com, a great source of information with car tech, cell phones, desktops, digital cameras, home audio, laptop, printers, tablets, televisions, and more. But my favorite thing really here are the downloads because you can download many free versions of applications or demos of applications and games on this website. So to get started on the eight tips and tricks, our first item that is important to have is of antivirus software. So if you want your PC to be fast, you always need to have an antivirus software such as this one, AVG Free Edition 2011. This is a free antivirus software. It's the most up-to-date version. You want to make sure that you have the most up-to-date version always. Um, very many features, as you can see here. And it you, you can schedule it to scan um, routinely. Um, this particular one is scheduled to scan every Saturday. so. So it blocks um, potential threats and it protects your PC from any viruses. So it's very useful. Again, it's free. You can get it on CNET. So be sure to have this. The second thing on our list of tips and tricks is CCleaner. CCleaner is a software that is free on CNET. And what it does is it deletes your junk files and unneeded f files on your PC, such as the um, internet files, cookies, history, recent documents. Um, it empties the recycle bin, but it does not delete any um, documents. It actually, what it does is it deletes the history and like saving the forms. So basically, what it does is it deletes your history and all the unneeded things that it saves so you don't need to worry about it deleting any word documents or things like that and all you need to do to run it is click run cleaner click OK and as you can see here 105.7 megabytes removed that's quite a lot just in a little bit because I actually actually cleaned this about an hour ago, so a lot of unneeded files actually accumulate in your system, so this will help speed it up. The third item on our list is a disk defrag. Here we have Oslogic's disk defrag. Basically what you do is you choose where you want to defrag. I chose the hard drive. Click defrag, and what it does for you is it basically rearranges your files and makes it more efficient so as to speed up your PC and it does it really fast so it doesn't take up that much time or memory so you can run that once in a while to keep your PC running smooth the next thing we want to do in order to keep our PC running fast is make sure that our software is all up to date so what we can do is we can go to control panel system automatic updates and what automatic updates are are they up make sure that your 
OS is completely updated with the latest features. So you want to make sure it's checked on automatic. That way you won't have to go in there and update it yourself. So and many other softwares such as the AVG, the C, C Cleaner, and the OzLogix Disk Defrag, they also have automatic updates. So you want to make sure they're always set on automatic updates so you have the latest um, features to help it run smooth and fast. The next thing on our list, the fifth item, is to delete any old or unnecessary programs. So it will be in the control panel. What we need to do is we need to go to add or remove programs. And basically if you have like an old computer game sitting around or an old applications that you don't need to use anymore, you can remove them and uninstall them from your computer to free up the memory. So I'll use this item as an example. All you need to do is click remove and it will help you uninstall it. And that will free up a lot of memory so your PC will be faster. The next thing we can do, this is something that less people would know about, is to go to start, then go to run, type in ms config. Click OK. And then here we have system configuration utility. It has a lot of things you can do to it. One thing we're going to focus on however is the startup. Basically when your computer turns on a lot of things will turn on when you turn on your computer. A lot of these things are important such as these things involving Windows and like some <clears throat> sometimes the um, antivirus has to automatically turn on but things such as Google Update, AOL up software, Yahoo Messenger, things like that that you don't need when you turn on your computer. You can uncheck those boxes. So all you need to do is uncheck the right boxes for the things that you don't need to turn on when you turn on your computer. So that will help speed it up a lot. The next two items on our list are more costly. It would involve updating our graphics card and updating our RAM. So basically the graphics card is the card in your computer that controls how well your graphics can be displayed on your screen. So games that require more a better graphics card would require a better graphics card. So if you upgrade to that you can play games with better graphics. Um, so that will help speed it up. And also RAM is an easy thing to speed up. It can be as low as forty dollars to upgrade on websites my favorite being Newegg.com and TigerDirect.com and that will speed up uh, your computer. So this computer actually was upgraded to 2 gigs of RAM pretty basic but a lot faster than uh, um, the RAM before that and the graphics card was also upgraded for a better gaming experience. So those are the 8 things that you want to do to speed up um, your slow computer. They're all really easy to do um, as I said, most of it is free on CNET.com. So I'll read over the list again. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have an up-to-date antivirus software, such as AVG. The second thing you want to do is make sure you have CCleaner, which will cl help clean up your files. The third thing you want to have is Disk Defrag, which defrags your files and rearranges your hard drive. The fourth thing you want to do is make sure you have up-to-date software. The fifth thing you want to do is make sure that you delete your old programs that you don't need and anything that is unnecessary. The sixth thing you want to do is to make sure that you don't have too many startup programs opening because that will kind of back it up and you want to make sure your PC is running as fast as it can possibly run. And then the seventh and eighth things that you want to do are upgrade the graphics card and the RAM. So, really easy to do. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about um, upgrade, about making your PC go faster, please contact us at our email, mrtechreviewers at gmail.com, or you can contact us on our Facebook page. Just search Mr. Tech Reviewers on Facebook. You can contact us through commenting on our channel 
on our YouTube channel, and you can email us. So, yeah, that's about it for the eight tips and tricks to speed up your slow PC. This is Alex on behalf of Mr. Tech Reviewers on the Southside headquarters. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to become a fan of our Facebook page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.